Hello everyone and good morning. I arrived in my office because in my car the holder for my phone did not work. And so I thought before I log in I give you a little bit of a review of how my weekend went, uh, especially since I watched a lot of games. Um, again, I'm still wearing the hockey jersey because it's really cool outside. Um, <laughs> We had it uh, at the beginning of last week. We still had it in the high uh, 20s uh, Celsius, even low 30s, um, with kind of muggy weather. So this is uh, yeah 90s in Fahrenheit. And yeah, then the temperature dropped. We had a lot of rain. And while the yeah, I'm giving you the weather. <laughs> recap again but why I'm saying this is because it was really nice to have that because it enabled me to watch a lot of games and yes I would have watched the Napoli Milan game of uh, for, for sure uh, but you know I started out with West Ham uh, Arsenal against West Ham which I wanted to watch mainly because um, I want to see Arnautovic and I also was curious about the Arsenal shirt uh, how it looks in game. Um, I was not disappointed in either way. Arnautovic played well, and as long as he was on the field, uh, West Ham had a chance. He even made the goal, the go ahead goal for West Ham. Arsenal quickly equalized. West Ham, I thought, was the better team in the first half, um, latest for uh, minute 15. But as soon as Arnautovic went off, everything went off, and a horrible own goal gave Arsenal the lead and then a late winner. The Arsenal jersey, I really don't like. It might look okay in-game, but I still, it's too much white here on the shoulders. And yeah, the Arsenal play, they didn't look like a good team yet. Maybe they need some time. They probably will need a lot of time to adjust. I mean, it's uh, first season under a coach uh, other than Wenger. Then, uh, so that game I watched actually quite some. Um, I also watched quite some of Juventus against Lazio, just the beginning of the second half. I didn't see because we had uh, dinner. Uh, Juventus Lazio, first of all, a ma uh, jersey matchup. I really liked the Lazio um, kit. Not, I'm not sold on the Juve look. Um, I want to see more stripes. Uh, I'm also not yet sold quite on Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo tries a lot. I mean, he, I saw statistics, he has already the most shots of any player in Serie A. But yeah, I think he's not used to not play on an offensive juggernaut as Real Madrid. So, um, and Juve is a much more even team. And you saw it, I mean, uh, the first goal, I think it was Ljajic. Uh, it was a team goal, a beautiful goal. Up until that point, I thought Lazio was better. They, they played well, but yeah, you were deadly. They had a uh, once Kedira hit the post. That's when you were took over, and never looked back. And of course, there was the slapstick second goal, where Ronaldo should have made it, but the keeper just got a touch on it, so it went on his heel. And instead of going into the goal, it went backwards, but Manjukic wallet it in, and yeah. In the end, a deserved victory for Juventus. Um, and then, yeah, my big game. <laughs> Boy, was it a roller coaster. Uh, high, 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 and then all the way down. Milan went, got a beautiful early goal by um, Bonaventura. Looked actually quite good. I didn't, well, I'd, I'd say I didn't like it. Whenever they uh, tried to defend. They played a lot of short passes out and Napoli pressured high. And this was too close for comfort to the goal for my liking. It worked well. But yeah, uh, they even got the second goal. It was already at that point when they were 2 not nothing up. I think it was 9-3 to three shots for Napoli. Milan had two goals, so I always was a little bit nervous. And yeah, Napoli got the quick... Uh, goal to cut the deficit and then an equalizer and I think from the 60th on Milan was just didn't have any um, power in them anymore. I think they played very intensive and then yeah, it just 
fell apart from there. Uh, Mertens, after the Zierlings game, made two goals, the second of which was also a great goal. And then Mertens yeah, scored the winner, and there was no coming, coming back. My favorite scene, though, was at the beginning when Gattuso and Angelotti embraced, hugged, and you could see uh, the two of them have a lot of history together and really like each other. Seeing Angelotti coach against Milan was also odd, but yeah, he has not been the coach since 2009. So yeah, has been a while that he was, but for me, he is still, for me, he's the last great Milan coach. Allegri is maybe a close, well, came close, but yeah, his last season with Milan was just not great. And it hurts me, pains me that he's not so successful with Juventus in a way. Uh, again, I don't know what Juventus did better than Milan back then, but I think, yeah, they got the stadium. Can be as easy as that. Yeah, I think Milan could have a good season, but I'm not quite sure. And also, I have to say the last half hour I was dragging it. I mean, it was already the third game. Yes, I didn't watch them all, but this was already the third game and was uh, was getting tired. Uh, ideally, I would have watched the Barcelona game afterwards, which I uh, saw the highlights where yeah, Barcelona controlled most of the game. I even saw the first uh, most of the first half yesterday in the evening. I just put it on because there was not really anything else, but was not really watching it. Um, I saw the goal by Barcelona, which was interesting. That uh, yeah, had it just on the on, on the line, Dembele had, heading it in. But I all thought it was kind of an underwhelming Barcelona performance in control. And yeah, then the equalizer by Valladolid was rightfully cancelled out, but it was a close call. Uh, yeah, this would have been a one-one without VAR. But uh, the other games that I. I I saw, I really would have liked to watch my favorite team here in Austria, Lusk, but I don't have Sky and I don't see the point. I mean, I watched all of these games on the zone, which is great for me. I mean, you can flip flop around in between the Juve Lazio and Milan, a uh, Napoli Milan game. I saw a little bit of Benfica against Sporting, which uh, first 50 minutes, which, which was actually a pretty great game uh, at that point. I know it ended 1-1. I didn't see the highlights. I still have to watch these. I also saw a little bit of Ajax against Emmen. Uh, was enough to see the fourth goal. Uh, yeah, well, in both cases, I like the jerseys. All classic looking in my, in my book. Uh, yeah, that also, uh, I have to talk about the jersey of Napoli Milan. The Napoli jersey looked good in game. Um, again, the sponsors draw me off. The Milan jersey passed the smell test. It looks like Milan. Um, I didn't like the black pants, but again, Napoli played at home, so that, that was fine. I actually expected Milan to play in the away jersey, but seemingly they went with the home jersey, which was a fine ma matchup. I actually like it that way. The weird thing with the Milan jersey is that on the front, the red is the center stripe, on the back, the black. That looked weird. But yeah, uh, I also... But now I'm really nitpicky. Um, the sleeves on the Milan kit are black, then we have the red stripe, which makes a lot of sense. I still would like to see the classic striping, uh, that all the sleeves are also fully striped. But yeah, the Milan kit passes the smell test. It's a good Milan kit. Um, I was way too nervous about that one. And so, yeah, I thought Sunday I won't watch that much uh, because if I looked at it, all the games that were interesting were kind of late and I was surely not going to watch a late game because uh, these days I'm an early bird. I'm here at the office. It's uh, before 7 o'clock. And yeah, uh, for that reason, I don't watch the late games. I watch them maybe on a Saturday, maybe on a Friday, but not on, not on a Sunday. But as the season goes on and weather gets even cooler, I might go back there. We'll see. But yeah, uh, I wanted to watch Lusk. Uh, but yeah, I don't have Sky and it's not worth it. The zone is 10 euros per month. Sky would be almost 30, 20 or 30 uh, a month. And there I can only see the German and the Austrian Bundesliga and uh, Champions League, which most of it I get in the zone anyway. The zone is a great, great, great. I really got to give, give them. I love it. 
Uh, even the German Bundesliga, if I cannot see live games, I can, if I want it, I can watch the highlights and I saw the Bayern against Hoffenheim highlights. Yes, Ribéry, that penalty, if you haven't seen it, the penalty that gave the go-ahead to Bayern, ridiculous. And I understand if they go with how it was at the World Cup that they don't go for VAR here. But the Hoffenheim player is on the ground and the Ribéry decides to fall over him. This is not a penalty, I'm sorry. Absolutely not a penalty. Well, similar. So, was than yesterday, I really thought I gotta watch Newcastle against Chelsea. Uh, if I cannot watch last, I gotta watch another black and white team. And Newcastle Chelsea was a game that I saw at Stamford Bridge back in 2002, I wanna say. Uh, so, there's always something to it. But that was a weird game. I, first of all, I mean, the coaches matchup it's Benitez against Sari. Those are good coaches. And Newcastle, in my mind, Newcastle is still a top team in England. Yes, they were promoted last year, but that Chelsea had 80% or more possession, I did not expect that. And I haven't seen anything as lopsided for a long time. I mean, outside of Barcelona, more than 80% of possession, cannot remember that one. But Newcastle actually defended well and they had their chances and I always thought, yes, uh, Chelsea had uh, the majority of the game, uh, looked well going forward, but uh, just in the last third they didn't have enough uh, power to get through. Uh, and then they got a penalty. I think Rüdiger had a great chance and then he, he also hit the, po uh, the bar at one point. But it never seemed like that Chelsea is gonna threaten. The game was actually getting really boring. I thought Newcastle will get a 0 0 draw. Then they get a penalty, which I also thought was a kind of a soft penalty. Azar makes the goal. Uh, and then out of nowhere, yes, Giroud got an elbow in his head. Probably should have been a foul call. Uh, cross in header, and it's 1 1. And I thought, well, that's gonna be a 1 1. No, it wasn't an uh, own goal. It was a deflection. Uh, it was an own goal gave Chelsea a deserved, to be honest, it was a deserved win, but I really was hoping for Newcastle. And by that point, I watched four games, and in every f of the four games, the team that I was actually rooting more for uh, did not win. So it was kind of, it was a little bit of a rough weekend in, in that regard. But the one that really hurt was Milan. Uh, Juve, Lazio, if Juve wasn't so dominant, I think it would be more for Juve uh, than Lazio, but yeah. Uh, it's a pretty even matchup, I have to say. You were, the sympathies I have for you is because of the black and white. Uh, but the way they dominate less uh, and usually get the calls, that doesn't make me like you. So I watched that game and then, yeah, it was the rest was, yeah, <laughs> I saw quite some of Valencia, uh, Espanol against Valencia. I uh, saw the end of the first half, that was a dreadful game at that point. Um, had in a, Halftime. Came back in time to see the go ahead goal, which was a beautiful free kick by Gamero, Gamero, however he's called. Uh, free kick hits the bar, goes right behind the line and jumps out, and without VAR, this would not have been given, so I was happy to see that this was given. Um, and then, yeah, a uh, second goal, I think it was a horrid defending mistake, and they made it quickly 2 0 and never looked back. Valencia, it also in my mind, Valencia is a great Spanish team, but they didn't look that good. I also didn't like uh, in play the look with all white and then black uh, socks, didn't like that one. Speaking of socks, also West Ham, I liked the West Ham Awaken, but I didn't like the yellow socks going with that one. Espanol kit looked nice, and yeah, so that was basically the evening then. Uh, I saw in the morning the highlights of Real Madrid against Girona. Yeah, uh, Girona got the lead, but once Real Madrid um, got rolling, they really got, got, got rolling in the second half. Girona had nothing in them anymore. Uh, so that was kind of, and then, yeah, <laughs> Schadenfreude, Inter against Torino. Inter jumping out to a 2 0 lead, and then Torino should have won it. Uh, I'm still happy that they got the 2 2. Well deserved. Well deserved, Torino. Um, yeah, that was my weekend, my recap. Uh, again, 
I'm not sure that every weekend will be like that, but it was good to enjoy a big soccer weekend. And yeah, I'm going to give you my updates what I'm watching as well and my thoughts on that. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know which games you watched this weekend. I'm probably not going to watch uh, Manchester United against Tottenham tonight. Again, it's too late, but I'm, maybe I'll pull it on in the morning, uh, not watching the score, uh, watch the highlights. But yeah, let me know what you thought, what you watched, uh, how you agree with my assessment of the games that I watched. If you watched those, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of these. Um, Gonna have tomorrow the Serie A videos, the first one up, uh, Wednesday too. And then, yeah, we're already in Champions League. Up until then, I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.